Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with our luckless little Lark, who is the brand new Generation 4 heir to the Dawn Moon Pack. And Lark is resting right now and kind of catching his breath after successfully hunting a cow elk calf. So not a cow elk herself, which was really ironic because luckless Lark has a special lifetime quest that every day we actually have to roll a dice to see what kind of prey he is not able to hunt because he is so clumsy that that day he would just trip over his own paws and be too clumsy to hunt that type of prey. And yesterday, just as we started off his adventures here in Amethyst Mountain, just as we were trying to complete this quest to kill two elk, he rolled the clumsiness for cow elk. So I was kind of worried he wouldn't make any progress on this quest, even though Rosetta is kind of like just blasting through all of these and ready to have a huge litter of puppies, which is stunning me. But thankfully, he was able to find a elk calf and we were able to successfully hunt it. And now he's kind of catching his breath, looking around, seeing how he feels. He's pretty tired from all of that. And he did take a few kicks, but feeling pretty proud about the hunt. It really wasn't that bad. Usually his clumsy hunts end up wounding him a lot more. And I think he's actually going to go ahead and rest. Even though we did smell the eight mile females and we can still track. Ooh, and actually these are the rosebud females this time. Now that's a different set. The eight mile females were both two stars, so I don't think he's too interested in figuring out what they're up to. Huh. And I wonder if he'd get a little bit curious about what's going on. Oh, hey, and it looks like they had a successful hunt. Yeah, there's a cow elk carcass down there. Wow, so it does seem like the eight mile females must have had a successful hunt. And we could go hunting again and try to get another cow elk, but I think Lark is very cautious. Unlike his cousin Rosetta, who was ready to just rush into things and tackle all of her quest and just be ready to take on the world, I feel like Lark is a little bit more careful because he has like been wounded so many times. I mean, the poor guy was stepped on by a bison. By the way, if we see any bison, he's gonna run in the opposite direction. He is mortified, or like terrified, I should say, of bison. He's not embarrassed by them, he's terrified by them. So he's going to run away every time. So I think right now we're gonna go ahead and even though I wanna kind of chase those elk calves and complete the quest so he can move on to finding a mate like Rosetta did in literally a flash, that's not Lark's personality. Lark's personality is a lot more cautious and we're gonna give him some time to unwind, to spend a little while resting, to get his strength back up and to very cautiously kind of sniff around the area. Now, the very tantalizing smell of an elk calf coming from the raspberry herd, especially, you know, I mean, he's pretty tired, but that was literally like an elk calf just taunting him. I wonder, are we gonna pick up that scent again? All right, there's a cow elk carcass over there still. All right, doesn't look like we have that scent again. And there's a bunch of mule deer wandering away. Huh, so I think he might go ahead and just sleep till morning then, because he's not particularly hungry. And he is very cautious, and he, he knows that he struggles with his clumsiness, so he would want to be at his peak before he really starts moving out. So we'll let him go ahead and sleep again. And where Rosetta was ready, she got to Amethyst Mountain strong, powerful, and ready to go ahead and find a mate and just start having a huge litter of pups. I don't know if a mate is really on Lark's mind just yet. I think he is much more cautious and wants to make sure that he can kind of fit into the world and that he can rely on his own strength before he searches out for a mate. So let's see what we have now. Oh, and today, by the way, he is too clumsy to hunt beavers. So if we happen to stumble upon a beaver, we can't eat it, but a rabbit, we totally can. Nice. All right. And I guess we'll go ahead and I think he liked the elk calf that he hunted last time. So we'll just try to find the nearest, the nearest group of elks and maybe go do some hunting with them. All right, the mule dealer trail is pretty old and probably about to fade. What's this? All right, there's a moose nearby. That is just as terrifying in some ways as a bison. There's coyotes about. 
All right. And Lark, unlike his cousin, can actually look at the pack territories in the map. So we can see we need to start going north if we want to stay out of the Lamar Canyon territory and trouble. So we'll go ahead and start veering north instead. There goes a little fox. And we're going to spend some time wandering around with him. It seems like he's got some lucky rabbit's feet. Maybe he, he imagines if he eats enough rabbits, he has deep hopes that maybe he will actually be able to become as swift and fast as them. So we'll let him go ahead and have some lucky rabbit's feet. It really doesn't fill up a hungry... Oh, what's this? A buck deer mule carcass somewhere nearby. Wow. Tempting and tantalizing, but... Oh, there's a scent marker for, like, this area, too. Huh. All right. I think he's going to try to get out of here. We got a little bit turned around. <gasps> Is that the scent of bison? Those are bison! There's bison right there! Oh, my gosh! There are indeed some bison right over here. We're going to come over just so I can kind of get a quick picture of Lark staring down the bison. All right. Hang on. Realizing what he sees. What the heck? What the heck? No, when, since when do they rush you like this? This is new. This is very different and new. I thought we were just going to have a photo opportunity. Lark, run for it. He just got smacked by a bison. He absolutely is going to keep running and running and running until he runs out of energy because he is terrified of bison. I cannot believe he just got smacked by a bison. They have gotten so much more aggressive. Oh my gosh. He has literally run into the one thing that terrifies him more than anything else in this world. Oh, he's just going to keep going until he cannot run anymore. And now he has run out of energy. Oh my gosh. Lark, what the heck? Okay, I thought normally you can get close enough to the bison that you can like kind of get a little picture with them and be like, ooh, bison. Not anymore, apparently. Like, what on earth? Oh, here, we'll try going this direction. There's coyote and moose over there, but they're not bison. I can't believe he just got smacked by a bison again. Lark, you don't have very good luck. I'm sorry. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a little bit better, though, and keep you safe. All right. And we're going to continue to try to go north because he doesn't like being in other wolves' territories. He knows he's he knows he trips over his own paws. He knows he's not the, like... He's not the most elegant of wolves. He's not a coward. He's just very cautious. And he tries very hard to just... How do I put it? Like, he, even though he may seem a little cowardly for, like, running away like that, actually, it's an act of just trying to be wise about things... Your limit. Your limitations. And to work within them. And he does try to take very good care of himself and think through thoroughly any problems that come up. What's this? Let's see. The Lamar Canyon pack is scented nearby. We don't want to run into them because we are in their territory. And he, he's not super aggressive. He doesn't really want to take over anyone else's territory. Especially because he doesn't plan on staying here forever. So he's not super competitive. He's just pretty strategic. But strategic on kind of a day-to-day -day basis. Versus strategic because he wants to win or become the most powerful of the moon pack. Uh, I think he's always felt like his... Cling, his ability to cling to life has always been somewhat tentative. So instead of trying to challenge the world, oh, there's some stranger wolves coming. All right, maybe if we go north, we'll be able to avoid them. So instead of trying to challenge the world, he really tends to try to just protect himself and stay smart. All right, there's a moose over there. We're going to continue to go to the north. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a lot of stranger wolves. Unfortunately, it looks like we have now stumbled on the stranger wolves, and even though I don't want to do this, they have just literally pushed us off a cliff! We got shoved off a cliff by the Lamar Canyon wolves! How could this day get any more ridiculous? Oh my word. Oh my gosh. Lark, I know I called you luckless, and I feel like I may have given you a curse. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Are we almost out of their territory? Freaking. I was gonna go ahead and try to just like scent mark to destroy. It's a 3% territory, you jerks! If I so much as barked at that bunny, we would destroy your territory marks. 
Oh, you fools. Oh, Lark, I'm so sorry. Oh dear, now he's headed for bison country and I just don't know how he's gonna handle that either. Oh geez, that's a cougar. That's a cougar. That's a cougar, all right. I, I really did curse you by calling you luckless, didn't I? Somehow we're running with the cougar now. And those wolves are still chasing us. All right, we're gonna get completely exhausted. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is when Lark realizes that the best thing he could possibly do is try to team up with another wolf for survival at the very least. Oh, I think we're almost there. All right. Bison! Bison! Oh, the other wolves are chasing us. Bison! We're gonna run away from the bison. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Lark. I'm sorry. Your life is definitely gonna be a tricky one. And now there's more Lamar Canyon wolves everywhere. And there's scent marks everywhere. And poor Lark is just exhausted. And, oh, 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 an elk herd! Huh. Well, let's try to make the best of a bad situation and see if we can maybe get ourselves in a good hunt. Because then, after being chased like that, I think Lark is beginning to think about how it really may be best if he can potentially work with a companion of some kind and try to do his best. Let's see. Are you hurt by chance? No, you're fine. But we're gonna see if Lark can actually like find a companion of some type to help him with a good hunt. All right, how about this cow? Oh, this elk calf already was kind of wounded. Oh, good job, good job. We're still feeling bruised from getting like headbutted by a bison, shoved off a cliff by the Lamar Canyon wolves. Are they chasing us? Go away! This is our hunt. Here, here. You want to get you want to get bwopped? What on earth? Oh my gosh. Were they really following us? And trying to like steal or kill? You jerks! I think that that actually is making like Lark a little angry. He can understand if he was in their territory. I feel like he's very uh, an understanding wolf like that. Like he understands the rules. He tries to operate within the boundaries of what makes sense in the world. And being in another wolf's territory and doing a hunt, yeah, I mean, or even just being there, he could understand trying to chase down and attack a wolf for that. But trying to chase down and attack a wolf who's not even in your territory over something as petty as just trying to show off that you're super strong, I feel like he would find that to be really kind of disgusting behavior. Which is bad news about, you know, his cousins, his Uncle Basil, <laughs> his great aunt on that side. I don't think he would be very impressed with the rise of the Dark Moons that we have had in the moon, in the Dark Moon pack. Alright. And we'll see if we can be strategic about waiting out. Look at the way the elk just throw their heads back. They're giving everything they have to this run. Mm, that mama elk is way too close still. Okay, there, there, there. She got hung back by a few of the others. All right, come on, come on, come on. Dive, dive, dive. Bite, 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 bite. And dive. There she goes again. All right, the mothers are really watching over their babies this time. Please don't go in the water. Okay. She's trying to knock us if I can just bite him a couple more times. Okay. Oh! Lark's really getting hurt. Dang it. I really need this food. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, dodge, 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 dodge. He's good at, like I said, trying to be strategic about things. Okay, good. Good. A couple more times. The elk calf is trying to fight for its own life now. So we have to be ready for that. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh geez, he's getting a little low on health for this. But we've come so far, and if we can do this, then we can start running with a potential mate. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Mom's distracted, but not terribly distracted. 
Okay, wait for her to go back with the rest of the herd. Wait for the baby to lag behind a little. Because it can't keep up with the rest of the herd anymore. Okay. Okay, we don't want to get caught with that bull elk. Ah, come on, come on. No, wait, that's the mom! Okay, I had the wrong mother. Ah. The babies are doing such a good job of trying to protect themselves now. Oh, come on. You've got this, Lark. You've got this. We're so close. All right, guys. This is going to be kind of tense. We are really running ourselves ragged, but I have faith in Lark. I think he's going to be able to make something amazing happen if we can just kind of spook this herd long enough. Get in here before the mama elks work together to try to defend their young and hopefully prove that Lark is strong enough to take on the wild and potentially even get a mate of his own. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our luckless Lark. He did just get thrown off a cliff by the Lamar Canyon wolves. That was not very cool. Also, he's about to die to a cow elk. Hopefully that won't happen. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.